We have a source and a destination for Salesforce.com, so you can send data in or out of Salesforce and even do things like deleting data out of Salesforce or upserting and updating data in Salesforce. So without further ado, let's show a quick demo about how you can integrate SSIS with Salesforce.com. In this demo, we're going to create a quick package that's going to move some data over from Salesforce into just a SQL Server database. We'll do this to kind of synchronize our systems so we have better reporting in our own environment. So let me go ahead and drag over a Salesforce source. This is part of Task Factory. And I'll point to our connection manager that I've already created so far. This connection manager is down here and it points to our Salesforce system with our username and password. Then I'll point to which object I want to pull from Salesforce. And how about I go ahead and just get some, um, I'll point, don't you're seeing custom objects as well as the canned ones here. I'll point to opportunity here to have a few of those. Now the query that you're seeing right here can be customized in any way, shape or form. So if I only want a few of these columns, like maybe the name of the opportunity, the description, and then maybe that's what stage it's in, I can remove the other columns I don't really care about. I can also add any kind of SOQL query. So for example, I guess they give me only the, call, only the rows that have been altered in the past few months. If I were to go and delete this, there we go. Uh, that should be good enough for the time being. We can preview this and just see the rows that we, we brought over. There we go. Kind of unzoom out of here. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. Again, we can add any kind of where clauses that we wish here. But let's start here. Next, let's go ahead and drag over. Uh, a destination of some sort. I'm going to use an upsert destination. This upsert destination allows me in, S in SIS to either insert the data or conditionally update the data. It's really simple to, con to configure. Again, I'll point to my, my database. I'll then go ahead and create a brand new table in this case. I'll call it whatever for this purpose of this demo. Whoop, I've already got that table out there. Let me go ahead and create a slightly different table name. I'll then point to my ID, my foreign key across both the systems, and hit OK. It's going to do all the heavy lifting of either inserting or updating the data. I could just use a regular uh, destination if I wanted to as well, if all I cared about was inserts. But Task Factory gives us about 60 components in SIS that we can use for doing things like address scrubbing or reading data of Salesforce or also upserting data like I am right now. So with running the package now, we're seeing uh, about 10,000 rows at a time come over. And in a few moments, we'll have all the data from Salesforce into a SQL Server database.